Ladies and gentlemen, we have Atlanta born, Orlando raised singer songwriter Nate Larson on the line with us. He has a brand new LP entitled Chronicles featuring his current hit single Miracle Girl. Welcome, Nate, to the Serena So Brown show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We are honored to have you. You are doing a lot of great work and a lot of great music. We we hear that you are the new Blue Eye contender. So tell us all about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what they say. Um, <laughs> and I appreciate that. But I guess that just means, you know, I am of the Caucasian persuasion. <laughs> okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I do sing R&B music. So it's interesting for people, but, you know. Yeah, it's fun. It, it's the music I love, so I love singing it. Exactly, it's good. You know, I don't care what color you are. You're 22 years old, and you're you're packed with a lot of talent. That's what I care about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you have a lot of musical influences, but do you want to tell us about some of it and how you came into that soulful sound that you have in your music? Oh sure, I really love you know growing up in the South. You're really exposed to <clears throat> all types of music, but the music I. I was always uh, attracted to was R&B, so I, I, my parents used to play growing up, people like Al Green, people like um, Smokey Robinson, of uh-huh. course Michael Jackson, right. of course Prince, uh, so I was really raised with that kind of music, and so when I decided to, to pursue music for my uh, career, those were really my main influences that I drew from okay. when I was writing songs or performing or singing. So how long have you been out there performing? It sounds like you're only 22, and you're saying, like, I've been out there, like, like you've been out there for, like, a decade or more. Right. Um, uh, well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I'm 23, and uh, during my uh, teenage years, I'd say from about 15 to maybe 14 to, um, I want to say 18 or so, I was in a gospel group. Uh-huh. Um, so that's really when I when I started performing, and it was really fascinating because it was an African American gospel group, and I was I was you, you know, the only white boy in, uh, in the gospel group, Nate. I'm sorry. You were the only white boy in the, in the gospel group. I was, and you know <laughs> that was fun because you know, I know you got all the solos, was, you know, and I was always well fed. Okay. I will say that because sometimes you know <laughs> some of the the white churches. If you get some crackers and water, that's good. That's, but, you know. that's it. Black churches will give you real wholesome macaroni cheese, greens, <laughs> chicken. Oh, yeah. I had to take a nap before performances, you know. <laughs> you probably put on a few uh, pounds and then you went back to singing, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the best way to perform. You're relaxed and, you know. Well, you know what? Tell us how gospel music gave you, I guess, a greater foundation and love for R&B music. Well, you know, if, if uh, you study music like, like I have, and I'm sure everybody listening in has um, really like they say jazz came from gospel gospel from blues so really that's the roots of popular music itself so really R&B is a is uh, you know comes from gospel music all the chords all the and most most of the singers um, we all like uh-huh. started singing in church and that's that's really the foundation of, of, the, of the R&B music so that was that, since that was my foundation and it was interesting you know, for me to have that foundation, but I really believe uh, it was part of God's plan so that I could I could learn. Um, and the main thing I learned from that was that music comes from a spiritual place, at least Most for definitely. me. It does. Yes, yes, it does. It does. And you know what? I believe when you know that, you sing from a different place, don't you? Yes, you take. Well, for one thing, you take it more serious. At least I do. Um, mm-hmm. And and it, you realize it's a it's a gift. And you don't want to take it for granted. So, yes, I, I do believe that. So now that you have your debut project out, do you go back to church often and still either sing some gospel or just kind of like whenever you're available, go do, you know, gospel type venues? Oh, yes, I do. Um, you know, I, I try to I'm not, I try to go to church at least every Sunday. And I, um, okay. I sing... Uh, I sing at church when I can, and um, that's cool. Yeah, I mean that's always that's always in the forefront of my mind. Right. Not just musically, but you know that's my foundation spiritually. So when I make decisions in life, or mm-hmm. you know, I, I look at all the consequences of those. So that's really that's uh, kind of what defines me in a way. 
that's so great to hear that you are grounded in that way and that you are willing to admit it to the world that you have a spiritual foundation and that you know you're getting fed well through the black church but that is also paying off in your real life yeah i mean that 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 was such a gift that i really can't put into words um that was just that really it had to come from god because i can't explain it any other way but yeah mm-hmm. I mean, it was fantastic and i was able to see you know different cultures and different um situations that i probably would not have been exposed to in a good way so right. that my worldview was more broad than, than some of my friends you know that is so cool now tell us about chronicles tell us how all of that came to be and all the producers and people that work with you on this particular project yes uh, the r&b chronicles is my is the album I'm currently working on and it's really cool. I, I used to, you know, uh, since my foundation is in, in gospel and then um, I, a lot of my influences are from generations past, I thought it would be a cool concept to make an album where every song is kind of a history lesson. So cool. the, um, the concept of the album, it starts back when R&B started back in the 50s and it goes up till you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, uh-huh. till today and into the future. So it's kind of a, um, kind of a history lesson. And uh, I've worked, for this CD so far, I've worked with, um, I've worked with a producer by the name of Drake Murphy, uh-huh. who's very talented. Okay. I've worked with um, this guy, Billy, who's really, who's really great. Uh-huh. I've worked with um, a few producers. Um, and I, I don't want to say too much because I'm, I'm still working, um, I'm still working on this, in, in the studio. I'm working with some uh, producers, but I got you. Got to keep some of that um, stuff undercover, right? Till it all comes out. <laughs> right, right. And I'm actually—I don't want to say too much, but there is a producer that um, I'm working with the next couple of weeks that you know um, has won a few Grammys and things like that. So I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but let's just say when the album does come out, um, it will be worth the wait. I understand that. I understand that. You know, because it's kind of like you don't want anybody to mess up your flow <laughs> that's going on right now. You know, but I know that it's going to be a hot project. I mean, I just feel it so. And and I know that from listening to Miracle Girl that the world is going to be blessed with all that you have to give to the music world out there that right now to me the economy is suffering and we're looking for great artists and great music. No doubt that I believe that you're part of that package. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Why don't you give everybody um, your contact information, Facebook, website information, and how they can get your music and a lot more about you. Sure. My You can always, uh, my main website is natelarsonmusic.com, and there's all the links to my music on there and, and blog updates daily for me. My Twitter is at Nate Larson Music. Um, you can find me on MySpace and Facebook as well, uh, Nate Larson. And uh, I'm I'm on iTunes and uh, Google me. I'm sure you'll find all sorts of uh, things I'm currently doing. That is so hot, Nate Larson. We look forward to hearing more from you. Right now, we're going to check out your brand new single entitled Miracle Girl.